In this video, we are going to understand the concept of a perimeter. Now you must be wondering, what do you mean by a perimeter? We've seen across that, you know, there are various shapes. There are triangles, there are rectangles, there are circles, and then there could be zigzag figures. Now, if suppose one were to ask me, you know, that I start from a point, say, let's say, We have point A here, B here, and C here. Suppose someone asks me to walk from point A to point B in this direction. So I keep on moving here, 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 and I reach this point. Now once I reach this point, I am asked to again move towards point number C. So I reach point C. And then again from C, I am told to go back to A. Now if someone were to ask me, what is the total distance I have covered? Well, the total distance that I would have covered in this case would be a sum total of the length that I moved when I went from A to B. So I can write this as length of A to B plus the length which I covered when I moved from B to C therefore I can write this as BC plus the length that I covered as I moved from C to A and I can write this as AC now this distance for a closed figure we see that AB is a ABC is a triangle which is a closed figure so the total distance which I cover when I move along the boundary of a closed figure is called its perimeter. So perimeter is the total distance covered when a person moves along boundary of a closed figure. Now similarly, if I were to ask you, what is the perimeter of this rectangle? So, for that, if suppose I start from this particular point here, and I start moving, then that will be a sum of this length, as a sum of this length, as a sum of this length, as a sum of this length. For a circle, again, I have to take a starting point, I start moving across that point, I move across. So this length of the outside boundary, which covers the entire closed figure, is called its perimeter. The concept of perimeter is important in our day-to-day -day life. Now suppose there is a football field. Okay. And as a practice matter, our coach asks us to take four rounds of this field. Now after taking four rounds, I must be wondering as to what is the total distance I have covered. That I can easily know if suppose I am aware as to what is the perimeter of this field. So the concept of perimeter is very important in our day-to-day -day life and forms the basis of many of the mathematical and geometrical things that we do. As we move along in our lectures, I will tell you as to how do you compute the perimeter of various objects and things.